The Taliban left an impact early on Afghan basketballer Nilafar Bayat. In an instant, they changed her life forever. Bayat, who was the captain of Afghanistan's women's wheelchair basketball team, was just two years old when a rocket hit her house in Kabul, injuring her spinal cord. Uh, the bad memory I had, it was about Taliban because they came, they changed my life, they changed his life. They came and put it a uh, non-stoppable uh, uh, pin in our life, a uh, permanent disability that we will have this in full life. In the wake of the Taliban's takeover last week, she joined the thousands desperate to leave the country. For days, she and her husband Ramesh waited amid the chaos at Kabul's airport. Taliban are shooting around and it's too difficult. They are shouting if you don't uh, hear what we say. Uh, we have a very difficult time, but now, fortunately, uh, I'm here with Ramesh and just sitting and we are waiting. In recent years, Bayat was hopeful things were changing in Afghanistan. She was part of a generation that enjoyed freedoms for women with access to education and work. She and her husband, who was also injured by a mine, wanted to stay in the capital, Kabul, and keep improving the country. But their dreams were cut short. They would destroy all the wishes and all the achievements, all what uh, we did in the last 20 years. Um, in Afghanistan, we had too many wishes, like uh, I was thinking about to improve uh, for my basketball, with my job, with my studies, this all. Now she has been offered to play for a wheelchair basketball team in the northern Spanish city of Bilbao. Thanks to the Spanish government and the Spanish Basketball Federation, she was given a place on a plane out of Kabul, arriving to safety on Friday. Although she is safe in Spain, her heart is still in Afghanistan. I want to tell them that you are so, so strong that you are still there. We know living in Afghanistan is not easy. We pray from here uh, for them to be safe. And uh, please, don't give up. And don't accept all the rules of Taliban, because if you accept today, they will put another rule tomorrow.